So in the beginning of twisted pair copper uh, connecting uh, computers, we had hubs. And hub, a hub is basically a layer one device. It, it effectively repeats anything that it gets in. It also causes the endpoints to have to have what's called uh, carrier sense multiple access with collision detection enabled. We evolved from there into what was called bridging, which is where a lot of the terminology for spanning tree protocol, the, the protocol that we're going to discuss today, came into play. So a bridge is a layer two uh, device that has some measure of intelligence. It separated collision domains, and a collision domain, of course, is a place where collisions have a high likelihood of occurrence, but it still implemented the mixing of technologies from hubs connected to bridges and bridges basically making decisions about forwarding traffic based on which side of the bridge you lived on. It used software to make those decisions. We now, uh, at this point, take for granted the notion of switching, which does all of the same thing that a bridge does, with the exception, though, that it does it in hardware. So what we do in a switch is a switch is a layer two device with a great deal more intelligence. And in the switching environment, obviously we can have multiple VLANs or virtual local area networks. And that has a reference point to spanning tree technology. Uh, switching effectively allows us to not only virtualize different uh, network segments within the switch, it also allows us to have different forwarding mechanisms based on the virtual local area network that you're a part of. In the context of that, we have um, obviously a hierarchical design where uh, we have access layer and distribution layer, and I just kind of draw attention to that really quickly, that we have uh, sort of this, this access layer mechanism down here at the bottom, and then we have a distribution layer up here at the top, and that could also go into a core layer where we would combine uh, several of those uh, distribution layers together. We know from experience that switching is faster than bridging and that it has a higher degree of intelligence, a higher degree of uh, intelligence as opposed to bridging, and obviously way more intelligence than hubs, which effectively repeat anything that they get in. We also know that switching allowed us to move to a full duplex environment as opposed to a half duplex environment, which was signature to bridging and hubbing, for lack of a better thing to call it. Full duplex operation effectively means that we eliminate the collision domains that were created by bridges and hubs. And so we now have the ability to disable the CSMA CD mechanism on our endpoints. Also, switches provide what is called macro segmentation through the configuration of virtual local area networks. So in effect, what a virtual local area network is, is it's a way of taking a switch and dividing it up into multiple switching architectures all within the same physical piece of hardware. Best practices with regard to design and implementation. So we know <clears throat> that with regard to redundancy, redundancy is a good thing in any network design because what redundancy allows us to do is it allows us to mitigate the effect of a link failure or a cable failure between a pair of switching devices. And this becomes really important from the perspective of traffic flow coming from our access network going up into our distribution network. Without any kind of redundancy, effectively what would happen is these devices would be cut off from the resources and services that they needed at higher layers of the infrastructure. So redundancy is a good thing. And so when we design our networks, we want to provide for that redundancy, but we equally need a way to manage it. And so in the again, in the event of a link failure, we have a mechanism in our switched architecture, just as we do in our data center architectures and in our uh, internet access architectures, we have to have a way to actually manage the redundancy created in a switched environment, just like we have mechanisms to manage redundancy in other layers of the modularized network infrastructure. 